Hey guys, this is uh, video number nine. Uh, in the last video, video number eight, we went over the uh, TON, the timer on. Uh, we built a little program. Um, I did the same thing for down here. And in this video, we're going to uh, cover the RTO timer, the retentive timer on. Uh, and we're going to explain the differences in the two. Now, uh, you'll see the programs are pretty much identical, the sections of the program, except this one deals with the TON. This one uh, deals with the RTO. And I have added a stop button. Uh, to make this video a little bit shorter, I went ahead and I created my controller tags. You'll see that I created an RTO timer. Uh, and since I created it as a timer, it gave me the preset accumulated, the enabled timer timing and timer done. So I have that taken care of. Uh, and I went ahead and made the program because I've shown you guys how to do all of the things that we've done. Uh, this way the videos will be a little bit shorter for you. Uh, so in this one right here, uh, if we press the start and the TON timer is not done, the stop is made because it's a normally closed push button then the TON timer will start timing and it will time for 10 seconds. Uh, we will get the enable, we will get the timer timing. When it's done, we will lose this, which means the timer uh, will lose this uh, and the timer will reset itself. Now the RTO does the same thing, except this is retentive. When we lose the RTO timer done, we will not lose the value of this. And in a situation where we might want to use that, uh, I've made a uh, tag down here that is can fill to. So if you think about it, if we were trying to fill a can or a product uh, and we lost the PLC, in a normal timer, it would restart and it would start timing again, and that would cause the product to overfill the can. With an RTO, uh, we will not lose this time. So when our program starts back up, it will continue to would be continue to fill the product and not overfill the can. All right. So if it took 10 seconds to fill the can. We lost time and we started over and put another 10 seconds into it. We'd have way too much product in the can with an RTO that will prevent that. So um, I have to go online. Uh, and you see our stop button is uh, closed. It's a normally closed, so it's on. We're going to press the start button. And now I hit the stop and we lost it. And you'll see right here, this timer reset itself because we lost logic in front of it. And this one did not reset itself. So when I press start again, this one is gonna restart from 3013. and it begins timing again. There you go. So an RTO is retentive. It does not lose its time. Okay. Now, since this does not lose uh, its time, it does not reset, we have to add an instruction, which is called a reset instruction. So let me go offline real quick. I'm going to add a line of logic right here. I'm going to go to my timers and counters. I'm going to get the reset instruction. Uh, I'm going to add uh, nope. Uh, I'll show you this real quick, too, while we're here. I put this in as an XIC, and I've decided I want it to be an XIO. 
that's easy. That's how you change it. Um, again, I can find this in here, or I can just start typing it. And I have to name my reset, and this is going to be associated with my RTO timer. All right. Communication, who active, uh, select my processor. I'm going to download it. All right, you'll see uh, since this came on, this actually reset my RTO. Now, um, if I press stop, you'll see that it resets. So I'm going to start it. You'll see that it is timing. And this time when I press stop, since this reset came on, it reset that value this time, where uh, in the previous example, it did not reset this. All right. So I'm going to go offline real quick. I'm going to change this to the RTO. Timer done. Communication. All right, in this example, you'll see this doing the same thing, but this time it will only reset once the RTO has uh, become done all right we're at zero we're at zero i'm going to go ahead and start it you'll see that it's timing and if we stop We lost our time on the TON because we lost logic in front of it. The RTO stayed on. And since this reset did not come on because the RTO was not done, uh, we will not reset. Now I'm going to go ahead and restart it. And you'll see that it did that. So that's how an RTO works. Remember, it is retentive. So if you want to save the amount of time that you have accumulated, that's where you would use an RTO as opposed to a TON. All right, that's the end of the video. Um, I believe in the next one, we're going to uh, do timer off, um, and then we're going to move into counters.